the transmission is mainly by droplet transmission. And with droplets, everyone always wants to know about distance. And usually with droplet transmission, one to two meters is really the distance in which we want to maintain to reduce droplet transmission. The main issue really is about droplets and when you really sing or exercise, you exhale. And when you exhale, then we worry that it's not just droplets, but some of the smaller particles that may contain the virus. When you breathe heavily during exercise or when you sing or when you shout. So as a result, these type of activities, we do want them to not have for the moment until such time our level of community transmission really is practically zero. I would say that outdoor transmission risk is very much smaller. There is actually one publication in which uh, shows that the risk of indoor transmission is 19 times higher than outdoor transmission. So I think if you're out in the park, I think an open space, good ventilation, your risk of transmission is much lower. But then again, you know, I think you must always think about safe distancing wherever you go. But obviously when you're in the airport terminal, on the aircraft, I think the important thing is not to get exposed. And get exposed is really from other people, whether other people equates to other passengers or sometimes from the air crew. And so I think a lot of it is wearing masks, making sure that you clean the surfaces in which you come into contact with and ensuring that throughout the flight you have good personal hygiene. And I think it really depends on cooperation amongst everybody on board the flight. Uh, there are always some questions during air travel about the air exchanges but most modern aircraft actually have quite good air exchange and that's really built into the aircraft. So a lot of times it is really not an airborne transmission from getting infected from someone 10 rows in front of you but really somebody who's much closer who may cough or sneeze one or two rows ahead of you that you may uh, get transmission. So air circulation actually is, for most modern aircraft is actually quite uh, well managed and the risk of transmission through air ventilation is actually quite small. It is really close contact. So I think vaccination is always important and I think vaccination does reduce any background noise that we may be concerned about. If you have taken the flu vaccination, you're less likely to come down with influenza and then you're less likely to be flagged up as having fever and sore throat.